Hello, I'm Remy, and this is my brother, Emil. I, we're here to speak on behalf of oppressed rats everywhere. Oh, man. Rats who don't have the access to media that our movie affords us. We're speaking out? Yes, we have to. We rats need to take a stand. You said we'd seen something, you know? Joke around. You did not say we're going to take a stand. This is important. Humans need to know. Humans need to know. Feed us. That's what you need to do. Leave some garbage out and we won't bother you. Just leave the lid on top of the can loose. All right, all right. Moving on. This is a man. Hello. A dog, man's best friend, looks up to man. A cat looks down on man. We rats see ourselves equal to man. But you humans don't seem to see it that way. So it has been war. A war without end. But this has not always been true. When has it not? In India, the rat is the chosen mode of conveyance for the Hindu god Ganesh and thus sacred. During the Roman Empire, it was said to be good luck to have a, a white rat cross your path. Not so good if a black rat crossed it. Rattus Rattus, the black rat, arrived in the West first, hitching a ride with the returning crusaders in Europe, finding plenty of filth, grain, filth, don't forget filth, and more filth to eat. The black rat quickly prospered. Wait, 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 wait. This is all wrong. This is not how we've rehearsed it. Or it shows the fucking, fucking, the fucking death and rats. What's the problem? This is director. It doesn't go from rats to darkness to rats and death skulls. Well, my script says rats and death skulls. Well, my script absolutely does not say that. You forgot the flea. The rats didn't cause the plague. The flea caused the plague. <laughs> the flea is the whole point. Just just give him the flea. <laughs> I'm in need of assistance. No, not that one. I'm in need of your assistance. <laughs> there is. Oh, that's disgusting. Senocillus Cheopis Mopus, the rat flea. See, this guy here gave the plague to this guy, a rat, killed a rat. Once the flea senses the cold, dead rat, it prefers to find a warm, live rat. But if a human happens to come along, well... From 1347 to 3052, 3052, 1352, the plague, or Black Death, killed a third of the population of 14th century Europe, and just as many, if not more rats. So, so what stopped the plague? No one really knows. Maybe soap, closed sewers, a change in temperature, but some believe this guy. Rattus Norwegicus, the brown rat, all better known as the Norway rat. Hey, you know. <laughs> That's us, right? Right. The Norway rat comes from China. According to mythology, brought the gift of rice to man. Wait, wait, wait. The Norway rat came from China? Yes. The rat even holds the place of honor as the first year of the Chinese zodiac. A symbol of good luck, wealth, intelligence, charm, charisma, ambition, adaptability, versatility. <laughs> Emil, you're not making any sense. We came from China, but we're called Norway rats. I'm getting to that. British naturalist John Beckenhauer named us Norway rats, believing we had come from England on a Norwegian boat. The silly thing is, the brown rat didn't live in Norway at the time. More than likely, we came from Denmark, but the name just stuck. Wait, now we're from Denmark? <laughs> Let it go. Kicked out of Europe by his brawnier cousin, the black rat joined explorers and colonists seeking opportunity. 
and some elbow room across the globe. It wasn't until 1775 that the first Norway rats arrived in America, such to charge, uh, I don't know that word, chagrin, chagrin, C-H-A-G-R-I-N, whatever the fuck that word is, of the established black rats. Gun firing, slapping, thud. Adaptable like humans, Norway rats live throughout the world except the North Pole and South Pole. What about that spot? That's Alberta, Canada. In 1950, rats invaded the southeast border of Alberta, but were repelled by an impressive government rat control program. Our societies intertwine a symbiotic relationship of give and take. You give us trash, and we take it, then eat it. I don't understand it myself. Can we sing the song now? No, 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 no. Stop. We'll follow you tomorrow. No. Now, why rats are cool. Every day, rats eat ten. Hey, wait. You said I could do this part. <laughs> it's a little something I'm calling what's cool about rats. Every day, rats eat ten percent of our body weight. Gotta love that. Our favorite foods are scrambled eggs, macaroni and cheese, white bread. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Our teeth can cut through solid wood, lead pipe, cinder blocks, and even steel, biting of a force of 24,000 pounds per square inch. A rat can swim for three days, and yes, we can enter your home through the toilet. Very flexible, we can squeeze through any hole we can get our head into. One pair of rats can have 15,000 descendants in a year. That may not sound good to you, but it's good to us, since the world is out to get us. Whoa! On any Wataka toll, atomic bomb were tested on for 10 years, but we rats survived and suffered no ill effects from the massive radiation. Some people have pet rats called fancy rats. Why are they called fancy rats? Keep going. Okay, okay. Jack Black, royal rat catcher to Queen Victoria, liked to keep some of the rats he caught as pets. These he would give to the fancy people of the day. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember now. Many, many rats have dedicated their lives investigating humanity's most dreaded diseases. How is this possible? Well, we share a similar biology. We grow old the same way. Treatments can be tested in a rat's lifespan of a year or two that would take 70 years in a human. Rats have even been to space, teaching about how the body adapts to weightlessness. So... As you can see, we've been together since the dawn of time, and we'll be together far into the future. Key of G, fellas, and swing it. We'll follow you to Mars, or wherever you people go. We rats are right down there below. We've traveled near and far. With swamis, geisha thugs, and sars, and planes, and boats, and submarines. We've sailed from Liverpool to Queens, or even in Qatar. Or whatever you people are, or go. We all adore a Francois Truffaut. Abandon musophobia and embrace the new utopia. Butterflies and puppy dogs, summer evenings, crispy frogs. Juan! Imagine, if you will, with us a world where there is women, rats, and women and children live in peace and harmony. We're even holding hands. We're dancing through the streets and singing cabaret songs. Ooh la la, join us and we will make a human ratty wonderland. We'll help you tie your shoes when you don't feel like bending over. And perhaps we'll take that trap from behind a pantry door. We'll say bonjour and how's the family? And we can pass each other on the street. And just like that, we won't be strangers anymore. 
So here we go to Mars with our stories intertwined. Although you once uh, tried to kill us, <laughs> now we know that you won't mind. We'll travel journey through the stars and whatever else may be. We all hate that lousy flea, the lousy flea. Yeah. So what do you say? Can we make peace and the views expressive necessarily the views of Pixar Animation Studios and the Walt Disney Company? Oh, no, this isn't over yet. Oh, no. Emil, how many times did they say we're going to slap something at the end? What? Now they're doing it. Yeah, look. Uh-huh. It's like it's in their DNA. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Guys, you know what's typical business as usual. You know what? Our voice will not be denied. You've had your say. Can we please get something to eat? Because by your silly insistence of rat interaction.